Everybody, we are live. We're trying to be live. I'm trying to figure out the setting. Hold on, like one hot sec. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Sorry, hold up. Let me see if this is better. Okay, that's better. Okay, welcome to the live stream. I'm sorry, this is at such a weird angle. You can't even, like, see any of the stuff down here, but I'll show you guys. Stuff down here it is. That's how I kind of want it to be, but... Hello. So, I'm finally, finally, finally doing my, um, collection. F like, everything. I'm finally showing you guys. I'm out of breath, because I ran downstairs, I forgot something, and then I had to run up. <sighs> you can breath. Okay, we're good. Okay. Hello. So I know a lot of y'all won't be able to make this to watch the replay. I will timestamp everything. So, all right. So this is kind of the majority, except for the things hanging on my walls, of my Hello Project collection. And as you can see, this is, and then down. And I have some stuff here, but I'm like, I'll probably show y'all what my oldest, well, my oldest to newest merch, but, but yeah, so, for people who don't know, I have been a Hello Project fan since 2008-9, and I really didn't start collecting until 2011, I have a piece of merch that's like from 2009, so probably like 2009 was like my earliest merch, but this is basically everything. So, I'm going to start off with my oldest piece of merch. If I can get it. Alright. So, this is my oldest piece of merch I own. It is a, can you believe this? It is a phone holder. <laughs> Do you guys, are you guys that old? Do you remember when, oh, this is from 2010. Um, phone, do you remember phone charm holders? They were like the coolest thing ever. So I have one. And this is like my oldest piece of merch. It's from the Pika Pika tour. And it's Risa's. As you can tell. Risa's. My phone call already sucks. And it says Pika Pika. And it says Morning Musume Concert Tour 2010 Spring. Yeah. That is my oldest piece of merch. And I didn't have a cell phone when I bought this. So. But now I do. Um. So I just kind of keep it as a souvenir, um, but it's hanging on my thingy. Where's my other thingy? Just left it. Well, there was something else that went well with right here. My charms. Um, I don't know, like, how I should start this, because I got stuff everywhere. Um, I'll start small to big, probably, but my oldest is, um, whoops, that's not it. It's this. I'm going to put this in. I have so much stuff that y'all can't even see it all. I have stuff in here too that won't fit. But um that's my oldest piece of merch. I'll go through my CDs in a hot second. This is my CD collection. All of these are Hello Project related. Um um yeah. I'm like where should I start? I'm just gonna start top boop boop. Um I'll probably do boop, boop, boop. Okay, so we're set from the top. This is a really old piece of merch I have, and I've never opened it. But do you all remember when, as you can tell, my um, armband and wristlets were like the big thing in Hello Project? They sold these suckers like crazy. So I have a bunch of them. So this is like my oldest. I actually have one from Cutie. I don't know what tour this is, but I never wore it. So, yeah, it's a Cutie wristband. And I also have a Morning News May 1 5 wristband. And I have an Arena one. And the Arena one, um, I can show you later, corresponds with something. Because they kind of correspond. Ignore this. It's like really dusty and stuff. I don't have any wristbands. I never use these. Honest to God. They're, they do come in handy. Like, I don't know, maybe like working out. But they never sell them anymore. They're like kind of hard to put on and stuff. I never bought any. Like, if I went to the, I'm looking at my concert poster boards, 
I'm like, if I ever did go to a concert, like, when these were out, I would feel like they would be good, but I bought these way after I went to a concert. Okay, and then the next things I have are wristbands. So, yeah, these are pretty. <coughs> dusty. Woo! Dusty, dusty, dusty. They look really bad. I'm going to have to, like, dust this. Woo! This is really dusty. I'm trying to get the dust out so you can read it. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized I have more merch, but it's downstairs, but it's DVD and magazines. But y'all really don't care probably about DVD and magazines. But I have DVD. I have, um, though I have more Amuse May 1 for when they went to New York City. And I have when they went to Mexico because they went to New York and there was a brief intermission. And then I have a Morning News Me DVD magazine, like 59. I don't know, but I have like three DVD magazines. But I forgot to bring them up. Because I was looking at this and that reminded me of... So this is... Sayumi's Nishige's um, graduation concert wristbands that they sell. Kind of an iconic thing that they sell at graduations and insights for like personal message and stuff. It's hard to show it. Um... Again, with wristbands. Oh, my, who was that? Um, when I bought Inger May's Present and Future um, album, I got this wristband. And it says Inger May. Sorry. So, past and present and future. And it's hard to show these. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Those are my only wristbands. I God, I have another one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, so that's the top portion. Um, I do have a key figure hold stand, whatever, but I think a lot of people know it's, I only have Akane, who's just chilling. <laughs> uh, she says, more news, me one seven in the back, and I lost the sticky stab, the, like, what, the thing to place on. So she just chills wherever she wants to chill, because I don't know. Uh, I'm going to start off from the top top now. I have my Erna flag. What is this? I don't know what it's called, but I bought this at the Hello Project store. It's like a little flag. It's from 2020. And you just chill. Y'all, I have so much airy porn stuff. <laughs> um, you want to hear a funny... Y'all want to hear a funny story, so... Um... Some of the stuff I bought, I've bought off, um, there's a chick who sells them on Etsy, blah, blah, blah. And she had a, um, whatchamacallit, recently. She came out with these, like, little mini figure, they're, um, glow sticks. I meant, what are these called? King blades, but they're, like, miniature size, and you can put them on, um, like, your keys. And so I was talking to my friend, I'm like, oh my god, these are so cute, you should get me one for your birthday. <laughs> And she's known me forever. And she's like, so wait, who's your favorite member? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you've known me for 15 years and you don't know who my favorite member is. And I'm like, and then she's like, wait, 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 I think it's Sam. <laughs> But anyway, she was like, wait, Aaron, that's your favorite member. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Really? Really? Sorry about that phone call. Um, I'll deal with it later. Um, so yeah, and then I have this, which is kind of like people, whoops, people have told me that like this is kind of wasteless, but I personally, personally think this was like one of the best merch Hello Project has released. But it's a pen light holder stand, and this is my Erin one I got. I actually got this like a year after it came out because it went on CD Japan, and I said, Oh, heck yeah! So, you have it too? Is it the Erin one? I was, um, I there's a big fandom on Twitter, and we all talk, and I was showing this off the other day, and someone said, I highly regret not buying this. 
And I said, it's been a lifesaver because there's like little hooks in the back. And so I can put my random stuff on the back. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I have a, and then I put my pen light here. But I lost one of the like plastic hook thingies. Um, so it doesn't stand the way as I want. Dude, y'all. <laughs> There's one. Y'all, Ari Pond's my fave. She's been my fave since she like joined. Yeah, so I have kind of like a lot of her stuff, but I don't regret it because she's my favorite and will always be my favorite. Next to Yossi. Yossi is like my ultimate OG fave, but Erina's currently my current fave. I know people always are like, why is Erina your favorite? And I'm like, well, what's really ironic is we are the same age and we were born a week apart. I think that's a coincidence. We're like born a week apart we're the same age yeah you'll see i love you'll see but anyways this is my see so i keep it up here but it tends to fall a lot so uh, hold on you're gonna you might see my hoo-ha but whatever oh it broke hold on No, that's backwards. Where is the... Okay, wait, you go here. I love this thing, but it constantly does this to me. I always have to keep fixing it, but... There. 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 No! There. Okay, this was supposed to... No, everything's falling. Okay, everything is like falling. Let me try this again. Come on, why are you being so problems? And something flew over mine. And I can't get to it. Come on, snap in. Snap. I think this is backwards now, is it? No, then no, this goes here. This. Here's the sign. This goes here. This goes here. If something flew over, I'll get it later. We did it. <laughs> okay, so we did the first half, and then I'll do the bottom half. And I have stuff here that you can't see. I'll do stuff on the walls last because I can't physically take it down. But this is stuff on that I keep down down that you guys can't see. Woo! I'll start off with like the boring, boring, not really, but I have a lot of um, folders. <laughs> so I have Beyond's first album um, folder because I got it when I got the album. I have Anger May's Kanaka. She's like my OG favorite Anger May member. I really loved her. So I actually got her in Japan. I remember picking, seeing it, and being like, hey, I'm here. so I picked her up. Um, I'm trying to find the other ones that I have. Um, this is an Arena one. Um, a lot of them have stuff in them. I put a lot of work-related stuff in here, so they are handful and helpful. People are always like, I never know what to do with these. I'm like, I use them. I have a lot of them, but I do use them. And then I have two more. What happened to the other one? Oh, no, okay. This one I won in the giveaway. So I got this one in the giveaway. And there was another one I got in the giveaway. I don't know where the other one I got in the giveaway. I had two. Maybe it's down here. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so for the people who are watching the replay, I won an Airy Pond giveaway last year around this time. And they gave me a bunch of stuff. So... She sent me, oh, I have stuff in here, too. I have a whole bunch of these A-file folders, so I'll just go through them. Kind of fast. Sorry about the glare. Ah! <laughs> They're not in any particular order. They're just 2017.
My favorite costumes, some of one of them. These were my these were my favorite costumes. There's the other one. Well, there was one that went with it. I don't know. Nice job. These were my yeah. This is the last one. These were my favorite costumes of all time that Morning Muse and Maze ever had currently, but. Have you guys seen the um, Rock in Japan stuff? They just had those costumes. Oh my god, they were so pretty. And I was like, dang, we haven't had nice costumes that looked really nice in such a long time. And I love them. I love them. They were like flowery and poofy and they had fun stuff on their shoes. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen them, y'all, they were really nice costumes. And we know Morning Muse Me doesn't get like current the greatest costumes but these were really nice and i'm like i wish we could see more of it like them you know it just sucks but um where did these go this is just a hot mess y'all uh this went somewhere and i don't know where it went <laughs> i should really put this back but it's hard to did you go in here? No, you went into something separate. Y'all, I can't find where this is, but I'll figure it out. So we're just gonna keep them. They are really good, airy pencil. Yeah, the little hair thingy. So good, so good. Alright, and then I'm off to my photo book collection, which you can't see down here. Yeah, headband thing. What is that? Oh my gosh, I find these weird stuff. I found a magnet. <laughs> and I found a cur What the heck is this? Oh, I don't know what that was. I, last year, um, I got carpet in my room, so I had to move everything. So I haven't moved that since then. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Um, photo books are start with oldest, young, oldest to newest. I have the Morning Muse May photo book for when I Chan graduated. Um oh this was the twenty eleven concert or I believe and it has photos of her with everyone. Unfortunately this photo book my cat decided to find and did some stuff to it so it's not the best but whatever. I have Mickey Nonaka who's my second favorite member. I bought her visual photo book. Now, she does have an actual photo book, and I never bought it. But this was, like, when she first debuted, I bought it. And it's basically, like, nothing crazy. Just her having fun, which I liked. And then, oldest, newest. I have Erina's photo book, and I also have Erina's second photo book. And I actually bought this in Japan. It was like, I saw it, and I'm like, I should just buy it. So I waited to buy it. I actually bought this in Japan. So it was kind of a cool experience to be like, oh, I waited to buy it. And then Littles, I have, I have, I love this. This is um, the Graduation 2. It's a concert book, memory book, when Sayumi graduated. This thing is like one of the best things. They took backstage photos from like each concert tour, and it's, if you guys don't have this, this was like, it's great. No, in, no, it's just photos. And it tells you, and they have a huge selection of when they went to New York. It has all their concert tours. They have backstage photos of when they went to New York in the concert. And it, and they have like concerts and they have um when they led up to, um I'm opening this backwards, I realize. Um, they have up to Siamese graduation, but they have like, it's from 20, it's from 2014, uh, July through when Sayumi graduated. So it was through November. So this was through November. I love this thing. It's great. Um, backstage photos. Ignore that. <laughs> and then when I was also in Japan, I found this. 
Um, you guys are like, what the heck is this? I don't know. I found this at a random store in Japan, and I was like, oh, it's high tech actually, but it, it it's and it came with a DVD. Um, but it like a fashion magazine from Itagashi. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I bought this in Japan. And then the most recent thing I did buy was the 10th anniversary um, book. I love this thing. It's great. Um, someone actually translated the interviews. I love it. It's all member produced photos. I freaking loved the member produced photos that they had. Oh my god. I told a lot of people to get this if they haven't because it's great it was really it's really cool it's really well done i said it's really nice get it get it so this was a good buy and that's all my photo books because <laughs> i don't know how y'all feel about photo books it's kind of like a hit and miss thing i know a lot of people like on the twitter fandom are kind of like against it but then they're not so i mean it depends on the age and what type but you know, it just really depends. But I like visual photo books. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to put this back because if I don't, my room's gonna be a hot mess. If I leave it like this, then when this is done, so I'm trying to like, I'll probably have to reorganize this because it's not. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, you can't see, but. Alright, and I don't know where all those photos went. It went in one of these. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, y'all, it's 21 minutes, okay? I'm not gonna go over an hour because I don't wanna bore y'all. So, okay. Alright, so I'll start off. I'll do CDs probably last because they're kind of hit it. Um, next, I'm going to do what merch I have. Concert. Well, I can, well, I'll just do that later. But So, I have an Airy Pond t-shirt from their PRISM 2015 concert tour. I just find it ironic. I put it on the lime green hanger. Ironic. But it's really big because this, this was the only size they had. So, it's a, what size? It's a large, I think. Yeah. It's just really big. But, yeah. And then I have merch wise my morning musume one four concert t shirt that I never wear because if I wear the shirt it gets ruined. I don't know what's it about. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming. Um I'm not gonna be on for very much longer. I'm just gonna show basically a little stuff, but thanks for coming. Um but yeah, so this is the back of the shirt too. Has everyone's members names? Yep, and that's all the merch I have, unfortunately. So next, we're gonna start off with like little little things, probably photo cards and all that jazz. Whoop! This is my Hello Project kind of like not official bag. I've told a lot of people everything on here, except for this, is legit. Hello Project related. Um, yep. And I got this bag in Japan. Speaking of Japan, oh, I found it. Oh, I found another file folder. File folder card. Um, here it is. Here's one from the 20th. <laughs> actually kept it's the hello project official bag from when i went to the store you can't really tell it but i kept the official bag as a memory and then when i went to tower records i got i kept the official tower records bag yep those are two bags i've kept all right now everyone's calling me oh my god i wish i could call them back but unfortunately i can't all right, so here are my um, keys, but this is the only thing that's like legit is my Erina keychain. 
and then my lanyard. And then I have a bunch of like photos in here and stuff. The Backy Factory, Kanaka again. I know someone's trying to call me and I don't want to like stop this, but I'll just make this fast. Photo cards, I got Kitty, Anime. And then I have a bunch of photo card sets which I think I've shown a lot of you, but these are just photo card sets that I've kept. Um, I also have this Erin keychain pop. Ah! And I also bought this Mickey Nonaka keychain bob. Yeah, it's 25 minutes. I'm trying to make this fast. I don't want to be over an hour. And then I have this thingy that came in the CDs, but this is from like 2015 and I don't know why I have it, so don't ask. Okay, I think that's like everything except CDs, but wait, 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 I wanted to show you the big, big... I have a poster and I never put it up, so here you, you guys want to see it, guess who it is. Freaking cutie, y'all. This is my cutie, the future concert tour poster. I, I hung this in college. Please don't. Bitch, I hung this in my college dorm. I have photos of me in college with this poster hanging above me. So. Crazy. Yep. Alright. So, short, fastly, I'm going to show y'all my posters really, really fast. And then I'll show you my CDs. Okay. That's my first poster I ever got. It's from the first tour with the ninth gen. Above, we got the Morning News May, um, towel. I actually got bought this off a friend from the New York concert. The towel. It just says Morning News May 1-8. Um, and this is my autographed poster from the New York City concert. Everyone fully autographed it. My prize position. And this is my limbs design with Erina. And I think that's the only things that I have hanging, um, at this point i think that's the only things i have like hanging poster wise yep and then quickly all because the person this person's been trying to call me and they're probably thinking why am i not picking up it's because i'm alive um i'm gonna show you all my cds just <laughs> very fast but i'm so sorry all right so this is my cd collection ignore the dust um this is starting from oldest to recent these are my albums i have morning musume's um special collection i have anger maze um this one Whoop. and i'm not taking this one but this is barry's final compilation box so my first ever hello project cd i have i'm so sorry this is so shaky it is mayday i got this when i was like 10 or 11 but it's my first barry cd and it means a lot and then the next these are albums kind of don't go in order so next is Morning News Maze 10 by me. And then Cutie. I know. These are all just trampled in so well. We got Juice Juice. Um, Risa's Renee Hunter. Morning News Maze 1, 2, 3. The Best. Cutie. Final 2. Morning News Maze. Uh, where are you? Sorry. Smilage Selection Collection Album. This is the Morning Muse May 1, 2, 3 to 0 Concert Tour CD. Juice Juice's first single. Ugh. I'm sorry, this is so hard to do with. Morning Muse May 1, 5 Reho. Uh, this is Morning Muse May 1, 7 Thanks You 2 Album. We then Climax. Okay, I bought the majority of these CDs you see here in Japan. And I bought these for like a buck. So this is Juice Juice's one of their limited Saturday Night Ikata. I bought that in Japan. Um, a lot of these like little ones I bought in Japan. Um, Taiki Banse, Barry's Final Single, which I bought in Japan. Song for the Date, Mano Arena, Juice Juice, Anger May, Subeki Factor V. Morning Musume, Morning Coffee, 
Okay, we got Morning Muse May 1 5, Ingram Egg, Taiki Bonsai. I just showed these. <laughs> Ignore it. Um, Sakura Night Fever, um, Sabaki Factory. Um, what's the name of this song? I don't know. Um, Tiki Boom. Sorry, it's not focusing. Suki Suki Doku Doku, Subaki Factory. Oh, help me. Keep on. Toki <laughs> Um, I bought this in Japan right when it came out. Isn't that something? Uh, what is this? I have multiples of some. And then these are my most recent recent. So I'll show you these. These are my most I recently just bought. Oh, oh albums wise. I'll show you. I have, this is Hello Pro Kenji's new album. Three stars. Beyond. The first one. This is Sabaki Factory's first bloom. These are new. So this is Mori Musume. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Whoop. Um, Adrenaline Dame. Is this Adrenaline Dame? Yeah, I don't know. I think it is. Oh, no, no, you're not going back. Hold up, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So, and then we got Otonoma's Mitna Onojijimashi Chan. These are recent. Juice Juice's latest single that came out like last year. Otonoma's debut single. Um, Morning Musume's. Um, be oh, gosh, sorry. Oh, so these are my favorite Cutie and Berry songs. So, Sunsunku Junku. And I have Special Generation because that was my first song that got me into Hello Project. So, yeah. Well, we went over 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. I don't like to show my room. But thank you all who came and who watched the replay. I'm sorry this is like really fast, but someone's trying to call me. So I kind of have to make this short. But thanks for coming. That was like kind of my short Hello Project collection stuff. I hope y'all liked it. And I'll probably be posting videos sometime soon. So thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.